Hi friends, Hernan here, Simply NAS West Coast, and today we are talking about multimedia stations, multimedia servers from our QNAP NAS systems. Okay, so we're gonna talk about two types of technologies when it comes to multimedia streaming. Number one is direct connect via HDMI. Now, number two is DLNA. And as you know, DLNA is a, is a technology where you can stream movies and multimedia wirelessly from your NAS system to a smart television or a smart device. And we're gonna look at that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the source of our NAS system. Now, my NAS system, I've connected it via HDMI to my television, so it's HDMI 3, and I've named it, I've named it NAS. So we're gonna select there. Now the HDMI, again, connected directly into our NAS system is gonna, is gonna take us straight into our NAS. Now, when you first initialize it, it's going to ask you, it's going to prompt you to enter your username and password. I've done that. I've also selected, there's a selection you want to select that says auto login. Now, the auto login is this. So every time you log in, it'll take you straight to your multimedia station. And that way you don't have to keep logging in every time to enjoy your multimedia. I've already done that. Now, we've also begun setting up our desktop, how we want to customize it, how we want to look. Okay, we've added two things. Number one is our video station HD player. And number two is our HD player, all right? Video station and HD player, both via local display. Now, there's other things you can add to this and customize it. Let's take a look. We'll start on the top left-hand side. What we're looking at is the name of our NAS, okay? You can see the name of our NAS here. You can see our IP address and the bottle number of our NAS. Now, next to that is a user, in this case, myself as admin. Next is languages. What language do we wanna set our NAS to, okay? Next is audio. Now, this is great because you can test your audio, in my case, in my sound bar. So let's give that a quick little test. So we'll play it. And we'll make sure our volume is turned up. And there you can hear it running its test. Front, left, front, right. Great. Front, so left, now we know front, now we right, know that front. our NAS systems HDMI is properly properly connected. Number one, we know the video is because we can see it. That's a given, right? And now our audio works very well. We know that as well. So our HDMI is set up and ready to go. Okay. So uh, next here is on our sprocket and settings is are the other apps you can add to our NAS system on our local display. And this is deep because the surveillance station, for example, uh, if you do have a surveillance station set up and you do have a couple cameras set up to your NAS system, this is great because you can watch it. You can be watching movies, watching television and select this and you can see all of your camera monitors on your humongous television, so it's actually pretty neat. Uh, as a display, that's pretty cool. Uh, as well as music station. This is great for listening to music, relaxing, uh, entertaining your friends. This is actually really neat. The QTS, if you click on QTS, it'll look identical to the way it looks when you log in via your laptop or computer. So you'll actually see that here, and it's actually pretty neat. When you're working on it, you can sit back and see it in full, you know, in full uh, HD mode, which is really super cool as well. Photo station is really neat. Now, all the pictures and everything that's saved on your NAS system, you can watch them on the on the um, on the photo station, which is really super cool. Uh, as well as Skype, you can use Skype, you can use Spotify, you can use Tune Radio, and HD, and, and all a lot, lots and lots of different apps, including um, Facebook and including uh, uh, Google Chrome as well. So really neat stuff and again you can utilize directly from your television and the comfort of your couch which is actually very very convenient and very nice right so let's go ahead and get it started um, we've already added our as i mentioned our hd player and that's what we're going to focus on right now so let's take a look at that we'll close out here this is our hd player we'll go ahead and launch that Okay, and starting to initialize. Now, what it's gonna do, is gonna give me options, all right, of our multimedia. Of what type of multimedia do you wanna watch today? 
Okay, so it's loading all the information, and it's ready to go. You wanna watch your photos, which is actually really neat because I have thousands of photos on my NAS system, which is really super cool. Music, I have thousands of music on my NAS system as well. Keep in mind, a NAS system like this can hold two 16 terabyte drives. That's massive, that's massive amount of data that you can store on a small system like this, and it's in a RAID configuration. So if one of the drive fails, don't worry, it's an American configuration, the data is still there. All you have to do is simply either get that drive fixed or you can replace it with another drive and not even have to stop this system. It'll continue to work. So hot swappable and it's in RAID configuration. Very nice, guys. Next is videos. So here we can watch all of our movies. All right. In my case, I, I have an estimated maybe 12, 1300 movies. All right. And these are movies that I've collected throughout the years. Either I've downloaded them via Amazon or and download them via other other um, uh, outlets. Uh, Google had a great downloader at one time, downloaded tons of movies for $2.99, something like that. So I have a vast collection of happy days of Laverne and Shirley, old stuff, really old stuff, as well as old, super old cartoons uh, from the 70s and 80s as well. So, and this is my private collection. I own this. I don't have to pay subscription anymore. I don't have to pay Netflix. I don't have to pay Amazon. No, no, this is mine. I play it whenever I want to, okay? Um, so here they are. And if you want to take a peek, they look something like this. So here we can scroll over, watch different ones. Now, these are recently imported. Now you can look at different ones by looking at um, different, uh, here we go. So you can kind of see the start here. Let's turn that down because it gets kind of loud. So now we can see it streaming. Now, notice quality, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, it's not HD. Well, it was never shot at HD. This thing was shot a long time ago and uh, HD wasn't invented yet. So, uh, and so again, great to be able to sit and watch all of your of your video collections, all your movie collections, as well as all of your video, all of the um, video collections that um, might have of your children as well, which is really nice. Maybe you're a coach and you want to watch some of the, some of the um, videos you've, collected throughout the season. This is a great avenue of doing it as well, as well as being able to share these movies and share the movies you've um, you've created as well. So great, great feature. Now let's take a look at DLNA. And again, DLNA is the ability to stream, to connect the videos you have here through your smart device. And again, it could be your Android phone, your, your, your iPhone. It could be all the televisions in your homes that have the DLNA function. All right, and most, most uh, smart televisions do. So let's take a look at that really quick. Again, we are gonna select our source now, and our source is now different, okay? Now we're looking for media, okay? Because the media is what's gonna connect your television to your NAS system, see? There's a DLNA. Now, in order to, in order for your NAS system to work, you have to, you have to activate your DLNA. Here's a quick screenshot of that and what it looks like to activate it on your NAS system. Now, once you've selected this, you're up and running on any DLNA device, all right? So here we go. Let's take a look at the DLNA. Now, we're gonna go into the NAS setting, okay? This is now, now we're connected via DLNA into our NAS system, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into videos, all right? And then we're gonna go through folders. Now, because I keep all of my multimedia in one location, I keep it on a multimedia folder. So we go into multimedia and we'll be able to see all of, all of our folders in here that have different collections. Back to the Future collection, the, the uh, Batman movie collection, Christmas movies, Halloween movies. I, I name it, I have it, right? And again, it's mine, I paid for it. I don't have to keep paying for it via subscription, all right? So, which is really good. So now, um, now we can go in here and watch, again, via DLNA. Now you can do this anywhere inside of your home that reaches your wireless router, okay? And that's what we're doing, we're actually connected via our wireless router.
Okay. And again, it can be on your smartphone as well as it could be in your bedroom or your kitchen or anywhere that, that your television has, as the smart television has a DLNA function and you can watch movies like this all day. All right. So um, guys, again, uh, QNAP NAS systems aren't just for backup. Okay. They're not just for storage. All right. They are for multimedia. Okay. They are for um, uh, uh, not only protecting your videos, as I mentioned, when you're running a RAID configuration, but as well as enjoying all of your videos that you've collected, or let's say you want to start a collection. Now is a great time. And you can watch your own videos. Again, you don't have to pay a subscription because they belong to you. And another, another great way is to share these videos with your family, all right? And that can be anywhere across the world. As you know, the QNAP system, you can create a share link, send it to your friends and family, and they can enjoy your family videos as well. So I hope this has been helpful. Again, multimedia in the QNAP NAS systems, a great function you should really look into if you haven't. And if you guys have any questions, email us again, sales at simplynas.com, and we'll answer any of your multimedia questions. Okay, so, and I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please like and subscribe and turn on the notifications um, because we're putting out videos now, maybe once a week, twice a week, very informative, um, and uh, always talking about the latest technology when it comes to storage and NAS systems. So you always wanna stay up, uh, updated on that, uh, of that information by turning on your notifications. So again, on behalf of Simply NAS, thank you so much for your time and watching our videos. Thank you and take care.